What's up guys? It's Stephen Cropper here with the weather and um, there's a little bit of some precipitation out on the lake that's now chocolate milk. I got news like it was Wednesday. This was clear. This is all clear. Now it, had a, it rained all day today. I knew I had the lake to myself, which I do. Normally this is, this is crowded. You see people all along, mainly on that side. But I'm under here. I'm smart. I thought ahead and I knew it was going to rain today and I knew I was going to take the spot um, covered with this. I've fished here only this time of year last year. Did pretty decent. Hopefully I can get some trout. I'm using two things, minnows and worms. Water is kind of brown so I'm going to hopefully moving and like the shining of the minnows will help the worms. Hopefully they start squirming in the water. Hopefully that will do well. Let's get fishing. There's also a nice collection of bobbers in here. Normally the water isn't up to here. Normally it's just dry land, but right there I put my foot in, foot in and it kind of does something like that. That's not good. The, the water's high, maybe like maybe an inch and a half, maybe. I don't want to go on the rocks too much. I already did and I kind of slipped, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to be throwing underneath that thing. Hopefully stay out of the rain, hopefully get a bite. What I could do is hook it through the tail, hook the minnow through, if I'm even in frame, hook the minnow through the tail, like that. They live longer. They struggle more. They only stock this lake with rainbows. I'm not too psyched about that. Last year they did brown trout too. I'd rather get to brown trout than a rainbow. I caught a sick of catching rainbows. I've caught 20 this year. I'm hoping for a nice big one. I wonder if, if when lakes are high, do the trout get close to the shore like they do in the creeks? Because I know in the creeks, when the water gets like this, they stick to the banks. Is this the same thing, or is this, do they go deeper? I hope they don't go deeper. The bob was right there, in a little like dripping on it so the current's going through there out that way so probably gonna have to recast a lot Two minutes. Trying to bite down on me there. That's a little guy. Get a release on him. I'm sure he swam off. Really can't. I don't have my. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he swam off. We're good. Not the target fish, but I'll take it. Skunks out of the boat. That's a good thing. A couple minutes later. Another one. Just lying out of the way. I caught this one early so it didn't swallow it that bad. Nothing's touched the worms yet. I'm kind of surprised. Looking for a trout, but I guess. If I catch these, I hope they're like bigger ones, like 12, 13 inch ones. Those are the bigger bullheads. There he is. Another one. Oh my god. How much brick we're on. That's a bigger one. The biggest one we got so far. Open your mouth. Okay, I guess we're gonna do this one. A bigger boyhead, probably about eight or nine inches, maybe ten. Probably nine and a half, nine, ten, if that. 
another one. Probably at the middle size of all. This is the fourth one. Middle size. Just a little update, guys. I've caught about six or seven bluegill bullheads, not bluegills, yellow bullheads. I caught three on that rod and like four or five on that one. So, yeah, probably not going to stay too much longer. That trout isn't working out, just bullheads. I'm getting sick of catching them, so I'm going to head out soon. This is by far the smallest one of the day. As soon as I turn the camera off, I saw my rod just start twitching and I saw it go. As soon as I set the hook, I knew it was a small one, so we need bigger. By far the biggest one of the day. I about 11 inches, maybe 12. Got this last one. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share with friends. See you guys later. Didn't get the trout I wanted, but still had a good time fishing, biting a line. I'm out.